full blown member of our band. Ah! My friends, I thank you all from my heart for your kindly wishes. Would that I could repay them as they deserve. What do you mean? Today I am out of my indentures, and today I leave you forever. <gasps> but this is quite unaccountable. Akina had that scuttling at Junado, cutting out a white star and never shipped the hand spy. Why? Yes, I have done my best for you. And why? Because my duty under my indentures, and I am the slave of duty. <laughs> As a child, I was regularly apprenticed to your band. It was through an error. No matter, the error was ours, not yours. And I was an honor bound by it. An error? What error? I may not tell you. It would reflect upon my well loved Ruth. Oh. <laughs> Nay, dear master, my mind has long been gnawed by the cankering tooth of mystery. Better have it out at once. <laughs>
pay. I'm sure I don't know why, but we don't. I know why, so for last I mustn't tell you. It wouldn't be right. Well, why not? It's only half past eleven. Right, and until then, you are bound to protect our interests. All right. All right. Well, then, it is my duty as a pirate to tell you you are too tender hearted. Oh. For instance, you make a point of never attacking a weaker party than yourselves, and when you attack a stronger party, you invariably get thrashed. There is some truth in that. <laughs> then again, you make a point to never, of never molesting an orphan. Oh. But of course, we are orphans ourselves and know what it is. <laughs> yes, but it has got about. And what is the consequence? Everyone we capture says he's an orphan. <laughs> <laughs> the last three ships we took proved to be manned entirely by orphans. <laughs> and so we had to let them go. One would think Great Britain's mercantile navy was recruited solely from her orphans.
we've left him ever so far behind. Oh, he will be here presently. Remember, poor Papa isn't as young as we are, and we did come over a rather difficult country. Oh, but how thoroughly delightful it is to be so entirely alone! Why, in all probability, I bet we are the first human beings to ever set foot on this enchanting spot. Except the mermaids. This is the very place for mermaids. Who are only human beings, down to the waist. And who can't be said strictly to set foot anywhere. Tails they may, but feet they cannot. <laughs>
from a child. <laughs> when such affairs as sorties and surprises I'm more wary at, and when I know precisely what is meant by commissariat. When I have learnt when progress has been made in modern gunnery, when I know more of tactics than a novice in a nunnery, <laughs> in short, when I a smattering of elemental strategy. We're running to strategy. <laughs> Ah, so you said open frequently. No, only open! 
bones of my ancestors and to implore their pardon for having brought disgrace upon the family escutcheon. But you forget, sir, you bought this property only a year ago. The stucco on your baronial castle is scarcely dry. <laughs> Frederick, in this chapel are ancestors. You cannot deny that. With the estate, I bought the chapel and its contents. <laughs> I don't know whose ancestors they were, but I know whose ancestors they are. <laughs> and I shudder to think that they're descended by purchase, if I may so describe myself, <laughs> should have brought disgrace upon what I have is no doubt an unstained escutcheon. <laughs> Be, be comforted. <laughs> Had you not acted as you did, these reckless men would assuredly have found the nearest clergyman and married your large family on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you for your proper solace, but it is unavailing. Such is the anguish and remorse I feel at the abominable falsehood by which I escape these easily to do the pirates, <laughs> that I should go before their simple-minded chief this very night and confess all. <sighs> Did I not fear that the consequences of which would be most disastrous to myself? <laughs> <laughs> at what time does your expedition march against these scoundrels? At eleven. And by midnight, I hope to have atoned for my involuntary association with the pestilent scourges by sweeping them from the face of the earth. <coughs> Then, dear Abel, you will be mine. Aww. Are your devoted followers at hand? They are. They only await my orders. Then, Frederick, let your escort line hearted be summoned to receive a general's blessing. Ere they depart upon their grand adventure. Dear sir, they come.
One year in every four, his days shall be reckoned as nine and twenty. Through some singular coincidence, I shouldn't be surprised if it were owing to the agency of an ill-natured fairy. You are the victim of this monthly arrangement, having been born in leap year on the 29th of February. And so, by a simple arithmetical process, you will easily discover that though you've been 21 years, yet if we go by birthdays, you're only five and a little bit over. <laughs> Castle this very night. 
But hold! Not a word. He is doomed. Away, away! My heart's on fire! I burn the space deception to the play! It's very night, and it is dire! So that is something more away, away! Away, away! Catastrophe. 
1940, I am HLB. Hello, then, Richard, and claim you. I declare it. Set in the toilet. Just as 
great as any honest man. Honest man. Our feelings we with difficulty smother. To be smothered. To work constabulary duties to be done. To be done. Now take one consideration with another. With another. Thank <laughs> you. 
we face this siege. You walked upon our feet. Ah! Revenge is sweet, and favors all our needs. Ah! With courage rare, and resolution now. Ah! For death prepare, and we be to so sadly. Thank you. 